Hi, at the beginning of the year, I set a goal to run all the urban trails in 2018. Now, in this video, I'd like to take you back and look at all my experiences in visiting all the different cities and running through some amazing locations in a video that I like to call the best of the urban trails 2018. My goal was to run all 10 urban trails in 2018. Now over the summer, the organization added three more cities to the schedule, but uh, two of the dates, I was already running races in different countries. And the third date, I already had a race that same day, but earlier that morning and about an hour away from where the urban trail was. But I did sign up for that one and ran the 11th one as well. After I ran all 11 urban trails, I posted a photo of me with my medals on Instagram and on Facebook. And I got a lot of nice reactions and a lot of people were asking me uh, what my favorite urban trail was. Now, uh, all the cities were very different, had a lot of different elements to it. So I figured in this video, I'd break it down a little bit and show you what my favorite parts were. I started the year in Groningen, which is quite far away from where I live. So we drove up the day before and booked a hotel. The first location of the year is also one of the most remarkable ones. It was through the A Church, um, where they had a huge organ and a choir was singing. In Groningen, it was also the first time I was in a synagogue. A lot of locations, they just let us run through it, but some locations actually put in a lot of effort to cheer on the runners or to create a little atmosphere. And I really like this at Club Kokomo where they had the music and lights going and there were girls dancing on the stages that, uh, that really added to it. Uh, with the urban trails, we visited student societies all over the country. And in Groningen, we ran through Findicat. Uh, now the runs are on Sunday morning. So at most of these, there were parties the night before. And so they were not the cleanest places. But Findicat definitely wins the prize for worst smelling student society. It was really bad. It smelled like an elephant habitat. Now, I used to work at a zoo as a photographer and I know what elephants smell like and that's what that smelled like. The weirdest thing about that was that throughout their building, they have fake elephant heads hanging on their walls. So it's kind of like they know, but they embrace it. Groningen had a very great diversity of locations and it was a lot of fun to run it. Amsterdam was very different from all the other urban trails because it was a very industrial part of Amsterdam, a part where I had never been before because uh, when I go to Amsterdam, I normally just go to the city center. So I got to see a whole new side of Amsterdam. There were a lot of industrial and artsy sites. We saw the container homes, which were very interesting to see. I loved the band that was playing on a houseboat that we had to run past. And Amsterdam had my favorite location of the year, Falk Safety Service for Offshore Training. This was a location where you would never get to go to otherwise, and it was very interesting to see. So that's why that was my favorite location for 2018. Maastricht was the next one for me, which was also another great one. Maastricht is a beautiful city, and because the river runs straight through it, we got to cross two of the bridges during the run. So that gave us a lot of pretty sights. I also love the water mill that we got to visit and there was some great location participation from the party store, the, the Rode Neus, the Red Nose. And they gave a lay to every runner that came through their store. So I thought that was a very nice touch. Leeuwarden was another city that was kind of far away from me, but it's a very beautiful city. The streets are great to run through and just look around at all the buildings. This urban trail had a lot of different museums on the course. So it was nice to get to visit them in a very quick tempo, but it made for very different locations. Also the Koepel Theater, which was an old church, was very remarkable. And the old prison that looked like it was a castle was just amazing to run through. Rotterdam is the closest city for me and probably also the city that I'm most familiar with. We started with long lines at the Hofplein Theater, but after that, it, it was fine. The beer brewery we had to run through was nice to see and running through the swimming pool was awesome. 
There was a lot of music on the course, which is always nice. There were still a lot of places on the course that I'd never been to before, and we also visited a lot of the more popular places. Uh, the, the course for the Rotterdam Urban Trail was amazing, and I think that if you're not from the Rotterdam area, that would make the course even better. Utrecht had us run through a lot of bars and restaurants, but it also showed us the nice scenery of the city center. The moats, the old buildings, and narrow streets were really great to see. Another old prison that was remodeled for businesses and an old swimming pool that was turned into a pool hall. There were some great locations on the course. The Hague was an urban trail that I had done in 2017, but there were only a few locations that were the same as the year before. We went through a lot of parks and gardens on the route and we got to be on stage at the venue at Paard, the horse. One of the most noteworthy sites we visited was uh, the news board, which is where people like the prime minister talk to the press. So that was pretty cool to see. Zwolle was the only city I'd never been to before, and so every single location was new to me. I love the course, and I really think Zwolle is a very nice city. They had another one of my favorite locations, which was the Great Escape. It's a place with different escape rooms, but they had people guiding us, dressing character and yelling at the runners. Also, we visited the ship, the Oosterschelde, um, where they served us slices of cucumber, which I thought was a very nice touch. Breda had some great locations. Right at the start, we went into Holland Casino, which is housed in a beautiful building. We ran through and around the monastery and got some great love from the fire department that was cheering on all the runners. We ran through a good amount of bars and there was some nice music along the route. Arnhem was the extra city that was added and so I had to run after running the safari run that morning and running races for the two days before at the Varandalope. So with my knee injury, it was a pretty tough run, but it was a lot of fun to do. There were a lot of theaters on the course, big music venues and movie theaters. Arnhem wins the prize for the most stairs. Indoors and outdoors, we were running up and down stairs. I didn't have to count the steps. Arnhem easily won this one, hands down. I love the cellars that we visited and also the water museum was pretty remarkable as well. Also, the enthusiasm of the crowd and the people at the different locations was really great. With most of the trails, I started in the first or second wave, but in Arnhem, I was literally the last runner uh, to start running. They were cleaning up the start already when I started to run and I had to catch up. But even at the first location, when everybody else had run through already, everybody there was really cheering me on and still very excited. So I thought that was really great. Eindhoven was the last urban trail of the year, and probably the coldest one as well. This course was very sporty. A lot of the locations had something to do with sports, like the roller hockey club, skate park, the gym, and I learned something new about bouldering. The course was very different from last year and it had some really great locations. I loved running through the Evoluon, the big UFO looking building, and uh, seeing the girl band that was playing at Child Center Theresia. So now which one was my favorite one? A lot of people have been asking me this and it's very hard to tell because they're all so very different and they were all a lot of fun to do. Now, 
some had a bit of a theme to it, like very sporty locations or run through a lot of bars or a lot of museums. So they were all very different and I enjoyed every single one of them. But I think the one that I enjoyed most was the one that was also the toughest one for me. Um, I just thought there was a great atmosphere, great locations. It was just so much fun to do. It was the Arnhem Urban Trail. So I think for me, that was my favorite one. Now Zwolle was also a very nice surprise for me because I was new to the city. Uh, Breda, I really love Breda, so uh, that was a lot of fun to run through. Uh, Rotterdam had some really great locations, but as a runner-up, I would like to mention Leeuwarden because I really love running through Leeuwarden. It's a very beautiful city, but the, the locations were really great. The museums, you got to see a lot of very different locations. So I really enjoyed that in Leeuwarden. I do want to say that I'm not taking into account Den Bosch or Harlem because I didn't get to run those. But I did hear from other runners that did run them that they had some really great locations as well. The Urban Trail has a new sponsor for next year. So they just updated all their websites and brought out their new calendar. So all the dates for next year are up. So go check it out and see if there's any of the races that you want to run. Um, I'm not going to attempt all the Urban Trails next year because I already know that Den Bosch is going to be the same weekend as Disneyland Paris. So I'm not going to be able to run that one. So I will try and run Harlem because I haven't done that one yet and I'll have to see which other cities I'm uh, gonna try and, uh, and run again. If you're planning to run one in 2019, let me know in the comments and tell me uh, which ones you're gonna run. If you ran one in 2018, let me know what you thought of it. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Until next time, get out there and run.